Welcome to our lesson, Comparing Fractions Using a Fraction Wall and the Written Method. We're going to use the less than, the greater than, and the equal to symbol to compare the size of two fractions. And we'll begin with question one, where we have four sixths and seven tenths. So you can see we have four sixths on our fraction wall, highlighted in green. And we can compare this to 7 tenths, which is highlighted in blue. And to compare the two, we'll use a ruler. And you can see that 7 tenths is slightly greater than 4 sixths. So we'll write 4 sixths is less than 7 tenths. And we can show this using a written method with equivalent fractions, where we have 30 is a common denominator of 6 and 10. So we'll write both fractions over 30. We'll multiply 4 6 by 5, so we get 20 thirtieths. And 7 tenths we'll multiply by 3, so we get 21 thirtieths. And you can see that 20 over 30 is smaller. OK, let's try question 2. We'll begin by showing 1 third on our fraction wall, which is highlighted in blue and 3 eighths, which is highlighted in green. We'll use our ruler to see that 1 third is less than 3 eighths, which we can see the distance here. So this will be the less than symbol. And again, we can check this using equivalent fractions, this time with a common denominator of 24. We'll multiply the 1 third by 8 to make 8 over 24. And we'll multiply the 3 eighths by 3 to make 9 over 24. And again, you can see that 8 24 is the smaller of the two. Moving on to question 3. We have 3 fifths highlighted in green compared to 1 third, which is highlighted in blue. And using our ruler, we can see that 3 fifths is greater than 1 third. And we can check this using the written method where 3 fifths is equivalent to 9 fifteenths and 1 third is equivalent to 5 fifteenths. And again, you can see 9 fifteenths is greater. OK, let's move on to the next set of questions. So do you want to compare the pairs of fractions in questions A, B and C? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin by showing 1 quarter on our fraction wall, which is in blue compared to one third, which I'm showing in green. And you can see that one quarter is less than one third. To use the written method, we use the common denominator of 12. And we can multiply the one quarter by three, so we have three twelfths. And the one third we multiply by four, so we have four twelfths. And you can see three twelfths is the smaller. For question B, we have five six, which is highlighted in green compared to two thirds, which is in blue. And you can see that five sixths is bigger than two thirds. Using the written method, we'll use the common denominator of six. So we have five sixths and we have two thirds, which we'll multiply by two. So four over six. And again, you can see that five sixths is bigger. And finally, for question C, we have four over six compared to 8 over 12. And using our ruler, you can see the two fractions are equal. We'll use the common denominator of 12. So we'll multiply the 4 6 by 2 to make 8 twelfths, which is indeed equal to 8 over 12. OK, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.